Hey everybody, hi. Um, so there's a there's a button on uh, on Twitch, and there's a button on. Uh, let me make sure this is working. It's working, right? Okay. Uh, there's a button on the Twitch app, and there's a button on the Streamlabs program app, whatever. Uh, that it's just so easily accessible and it says go live, you know, like, like I'm looking at my Twitch thing on my phone and it's like, there's a button right there that says go live. And I'm walking along and I'm like, you know, well, no, you know, because I'm like doing things right. I'm like living my life or something. And so I'm not going to do that. But then <clears throat> I'm thinking to myself when I see this button, I'm like, well, I mean, I guess if you're living that, you know, go live kind of life, then you should, I mean, I guess that's, is that my thing now that I just like go live, that I live my life online or something that I live stream, you know, randomly all the time. So, Hey, Natalie, <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Thank God you showed up. I mean, so I hang on. Um, okay. So, so this is an experiment. I mean, I, I did not know I was going to go live. This is not like a, Hey everybody, like show up because I'm surprising you with a show. It's like something happened. I learned about something. Uh, my quilt nerdery was in full swing and I'm like working on something. And then I, <laughs> I, I saw this thing and I was like, Ugh. and I knew that my discovery of this thing needed to halt in, in like mid discovery. And I needed to share it with you. And so, and so I'm going to share it with my fellow quilt nerds. Hey, Padma. Oh, Padma. Oh God. I mean, I am, this is not planned. This was not planned. This is kind of an experiment. It, it, I had the urge to come on. Okay. I had the need to come on. And when you see what I'm going to show you, you will be like, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I do not, you know, I, anyway, there's always this, what I was saying before people came in and who knows who will come in, you know, because who knows who's getting notifications and I'm not usually streaming on a Monday. But what I was saying is I, I found this thing and it's so crazy and weird and like ridiculous, quilt related, of course, that I was like, Eric, and I ran into the, I was like, just click on this link, just, just do it. And, and Eric was like understated very all the time. He's like, wow, Ooh, wow. Ooh. And so I'm like, well, I can investigate this thing that I just discovered, or I can like go live and investigate it. And, and I was saying that like, once you're a live streamer, like, I think the platforms want you to like stream all the time and like stream randomly. Cause there's a button on my, on my apps, on all my apps. That's like, go live. And like, I'm at the grocery store, you know, I'm like, I'm not going live, but I think, I think that's like what they want you to do is go live all the time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just like doing it. I don't, you know, what am I, I don't know what to do. Okay. Carol, oh my God, thank God you're here. Carol, you're my, I mean, everything's going to be fine because you're here. So obviously this is urgent. Okay. I have not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this, but I'm going to show you what I just discovered while I was, here's what I was doing. I have a gig tomorrow for the Quilters Guild of the British Isles. It's no small deal. I mean, I've done many gigs in my life. I've done big ones, but like, I got to come correct on this gig. You know, it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a big, it's a big group of people. Okay. And I'm giving my lecture on myth, myths in the American quilt cool story, right? Cause we've a lot of, we believe a lot of things that are just like not true, you know? And I'm not out to like set the record straight, but I'm just out to like give it more information about what happened, you know, it, whatever. Come to the lecture, uh, join the quilt guild of the British Isles. Okay, so Naflinster, oh, Naflinster, yeah, pleasant, pleasant for now. Just, just, okay. So anyway, so I'm researching. Well, I mean, I mean, I my lecture is ready and all that, but I'm 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 polishing up my slides for this this big gig tomorrow. Okay, getting things polished up. I'm actually transferring all my slides to a new program. Really getting them nice and you know great. And I'm looking for something. Okay, now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start 
showing you. This is not planned. This is like one of those moments where I'm like, well, I stream live. So now why don't I just stream live this thing that I have discovered? And, and, and I mean, you, on Quilt Nerd, we have a lot of experiences together. <laughs> and I, I pull things together and I'm like, I've never read this thing. We're going to read it together. I've never seen this quilt. We're going to read it together. Tonight, I mean, this is like, just get ready. Okay, get ready. I don't even know how I got here. Well, I mean, I was looking for pictures of quilts of G's Bend. Okay, the famous quilts of G's Bend. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but I found that Nicole Ritchie, Nicole Ritchie is selling quilts from G's Bend or I don't know yet. So you see, that's the thing. I'm going to discover this with you. All I know is I found this and there's a video and I don't even know my life right now. Okay, you ready? I mean, I mean, really. Okay, let's go like this and let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Okay, volume. Listen, we talked about G's Ben recently. We talked about how, how I think Ralph Lauren's son or something is doing a thing with G's Ben quilters who live in G's Ben who, you know, and, and, and there's clothes that are available at Bergdorf Goodman. And I think it was Faith, right? One of our quilt nerds in our community. It's amazing. She was like, you know, don't jump to conclusions. The deal that Ralph Lauren's son has struck with like these quilt makers, you know, in this historic place of like quilt making in America, you know, let's, let's, let's hope they got a good deal, you know? And they're like, this is a good thing for them. And I'm like, yes. And we all agreed. It was like, yeah, like, let's hope this was a really good, you know, business like opportunity for these people who have historically been you know, completely taken advantage of by, yeah, you know, capitalism. I mean, remember my whole thing on this show and just in general, just tell the truth. It's not my opinion. It's not my like, here's the way that the world ought to be kind of stuff. Like I just bring you some information and we talk about the truth of what happened. And in the past, folks in G's Bend who have made quilts for generations have been cheated out of money by white people who, you know, see the value in their work, but it's kind of slimy, right? Okay, that's just a fact. It's not, I'm not, it's just, that's just it, okay? That's it. So I'm like, well, I hope that this is great. I hope this is a great arrangement. But Nicole Richie, Nicole Richie? So, so this is as far as I got. The quilt is, this quilt is five, are you with me? I don't even know who's here. I don't even know who's here. Hey, everybody. So, <laughs> and, and like I said, this was unplanned, but it was a moment where like life and live streaming converged. And I was like, what is happening? Like, I'm gonna go live and figure it out, you know? So, you know, I put on lipstick. That was the most I did for this moment. Um, Diobev, oh my God. I mean, Blobfish. Thank you. The green screen. Okay, that's what I did. I was like, I'm going live. And it was like, pull up the green screen. Lipstick. Let's do this, you know. So it's Ralph Lauren's nephew. Okay, thank you. Joyous Fibers. I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, so now, so I don't know what's happening, right? So now we're going to figure this out. And you know, just like last time. Oh, God. I mean, really? Well, that's like a weird, the, the photo isn't working. I got I just, I just, Nicole Richie. So now we have to go explore you guys because, because I need to know more. I need to know more about why Nicole Richie in her robe is like, 
equating herself with like the makers of the object that she's selling for $5,000, okay? And again, again, I don't know, okay? So let's discover what's going on. But House of Harlow, which I like vaguely knew. I was like, what is House of Harlow? What is this? So hold on, let me just, let me just, let me just think for a second, okay? I ran and told Eric, I'm like, oh, what's going on? And he's like, he, he, you know, was on his computer. He's like, clackety, clackety, clack. He's like, oh, she's in an article on the Etsy blog or something. And I was like, okay, great. Uh, and this is from October. I was like, wh when did it happen? Is it like three years ago? Did I miss it? You know, he's like, October. I'm like, oh, shit. that's last month. Oh, it's great. Mm. It's great. Oh, it's great. It's great. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. I mean, I, whew, look at this. Nicole Ritchie launches a holiday collection with Etsy. Shop the House Harlow 1960 collab. Again, might be good. And you know what the thing is? So October 20th, 2021, not a month ago. Oh, this isn't anything. We don't have images. Okay, forget it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I told you I'm not prepared. I'll find some, I'll find the goods. Um, whenever I get real strident about something, uh, I usually regret it. Um, so just let it be known. I don't know what's up yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I might eat my, eat craw, might eat craw. I might eat my hat. Okay, blog, yeah, here we go. Let's, let's just, let's, I'm, you know, if like, if it's a good thing, it's, it's great. It's weird. It's super weird. But it might be good. <laughs> so I'm going to read some of this to you. Uh, again, haven't read it for myself. And I don't, I don't like having like images like this up on, <laughs> I don't like having images of Nicole Richie with no quilts in sight. So this is from the Etsy blog. Um, quilts are not mentioned. I'm seeing in the, uh, 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 the headline, neither are any of the quilt makers or the quilts mentioned in the headline, whatever. This is from the Etsy blog. I'm usually a fan of like having a web page like on my monitor and showing you like luscious images of whatever we're talking about up on your screen. But you know what? This is like, this is guerrilla live streaming. I can't, I, I couldn't do it. Okay. <clears throat> da, 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 We're thrilled to reveal the holiday edition of our House of Harlow 1960. What do you mean 1960? What does that mean? I mean, quilt makers in G's Ben were making quilts in 1960. By the way, by the way, they were, let me just, okay. This is the quilt nerd moment. Okay. The Freedom Quilting Bee was active in the 1960s. I don't know exactly what year it started because I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to guess. Early 60s, okay? Freedom Quilting Bee was making quilts that they sold at Sears. And like, well, um, Sears and um, uh, 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 Neiman Marcus, maybe? maybe? Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's, okay? So like, anyway, that's a nerd moment. And and I just, I just, I just want to point out that in the 1960s, the Freedom Quilting Bee was doing their thing. But the Freedom Quilting Bee, unlike the quilters of G's Ben, had like... Well, they had their own collective, but the G's been, okay, anyway, there's the Souls Grown Deep Foundation. Okay, I'm, I, I'm just, let me pull it back. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like in terms of being a quilt nerd, you just saw it happen and you should come to the regular show three times a week and see me in a slightly less agitated state, slightly, okay. So House of Harlow 1960 creator collaboration filled with unique handmade pieces designed with holiday entertaining and gifting in mind. Quote, I've been known to go all out when it comes to the holiday season. Fascinating. Sorry, says Nicole. Um, unquote. Into co-designing this collection. Oh, no. Quote again. <clears throat> In co-designing this collection, I wanted to create gifts. I wanted to create gifts that would make people feel truly special and decor pieces that bring holiday into any space, whether you're celebrating with family and friends or simply lounging by the fire, unquote. Fine, that's fine, I want that. Okay, so inspired by 70s luxe and glamorous 
rock and roll spirit. Cool. Okay. A thrilling addition to this season's collection is the skillful stitching of eight members of the G's Ben Quilters. But is it the G's Ben Quilters or is it the Souls Grown Deep Foundation? Like, I'm, or, anyway, I have questions. Maybe that's right. I don't know. The renowned community of rural female quilters from Alabama, using dead stock fabric supplied by House of Harlow 1960. Okay. This talented group of artists designed a stunning capsule of elaborate one-of-a-kind quilted blankets. Don't call them blankets. Um, <clears throat> quilted blankets and ornate wall hangings, ornate, each, which each with their own personal touch. Oh my God. I got to catch up on the chat. Um, giving shoppers a chance to own a piece of American history quote, being able to work with the G's men quilters was an incredible experience. And each maker brought their own personal touch and skill to bring these quilts to life. Shares Nicole. My parents are from Alabama. Interesting. Interesting. Which has been a second home to me interesting. It was an honor to get to work with artisans from a place so close to my heart and history. Okay. Unquote. Interesting. All right. She's from Alabama. She's from Alabama. Her parents are from Alabama. Okay. It's been a second home to her. Look at her. The regal Alabamian. So let's, I just want to go back. So where are the quilts? Here are the quilts. Okay. Um, let's, let's talk a little bit about Let's talk about the video. I want to talk about the video. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We got a video. So if you just joined, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. So, so I don't know how to position this, um, uh, impromptu, uh, episode of quilt nerd. If I say it's educational, can I play this and like react to it and not get a copyright strike? Or if I say it's, um, uh, commentary, you know, or like entertainment. I want to watch this with you. And so if I do, and we're going to, I think it's important that I stop and talk about it enough that I make transformative content. I think that's the thing that I have to do. So I'm going to interrupt it and it's a minute, it's a minute long. So just, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, also, I also think that this impromptu episode of Quilt Nerd is the first time that I'm broadcasting at the same time on YouTube that I am on Twitch, because I think I finally figured that out. So that's interesting. So anybody who's on YouTube, who's never seen the show that's been going on for like three months is going to be like, this is weird, but it's also kind of like, well, anyway, it's kind of normal, but from now on, the shows are going to be broadcast on Twitch and YouTube before I play this video. Let me catch up in the chat. Okay. Natalie's here, Padma's here, Carol's here, Neflinster's here. Yes, Diobeb is here, Blobfish is here. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Yo, uh, Joyous Fibers. It's just, it's like hot off the press, man. Nicole Ritchie. <sighs> I think you see how I feel. Susan Michael, what's up? What is up indeed? Um, New Elizabeth. I know, I know it's Nicole Ritchie. She mostly sells jewelry. Yeah, I mean, and maybe she's amazing. Maybe she's amazing. Beastly Richard. Hey, Beastly Richard. <laughs> yeah. MTV Cribs, right? Why is it called House of Harlow? New Elizabeth. You know, a nerd like par excellence, right? The quilt nerd par excellence. Um, Googled, why is it called House of Harlow? 1960. Image result for why does Nicole Richie use 1960 in her brand? Uh, Harlow, Nicole, uh, Nicole Ritchie is a fashion designer who specializes in jewelry. Beastly Richard, you were all over that. Her jewelry line, House of Harlow 1960, okay, is named after her daughter Harlow. Okay, now things make sense. The jewelry is very costume-like and vintage inspired, hence the year 1960 in the title of the label. Harlow, 19, I mean, Jean Harlow is what I think of, which is probably part of what inspired her to name her daughter Harlow. But Harlow, Jean Harlow was not a star in the 1960s. I'm just saying, did they do a focus group? Okay. Um, wow. Joyous Fibers says just this morning, CBS anchors agreed quilting was a dying art. Oh, really? They're so up on like what's happening in the quilting world. So it's really good that they said that because we really need to pay attention to what they say. Those CBS anchors, I mean, they have their fingers on the pulse. Really? Like, really? Have you seen all of the people wearing coats that have been cut from like, you know, exquisite antique quilts? They're all the rage. 
Don't get me started. Don't worry, everybody. I'm not going to go on that again. I'm not. Not this time. Stop cutting quilts apart to make clothes. Just please stop. We're good now. It's cool. You can do it for a while, but just stop now. Okay? We stop? Thanks. Um, fancy. Yeah. Carol Hempel's like, I'm not into MTV Cribs. Of course. I mean, like, yeah, that's not surprising. Okay. Commentary like this is fair use. Agreed. Um, eat your coat. Oh my God. It's good to see you. Elaine. Elaine. Elaine from San Francisco. Um, it's freely available on YouTube. Okay. Great. 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 It's okay. I'm so glad that you're here. This is super random. It's super random. All right, here we go. Myra, hi. Okay. We're all dying as we create our art. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Let's just watch. Let's just see what happens. What is Nicole Richie doing with quilters from G's Ben? Maybe it's amazing. This is from Etsy. Okay. Let me make sure everybody can hear this. I'm watching this with you. This is a live react. going on what oh 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 sorry sorry oh no, no, no. here we go here we go no, no, no. okay no 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 what's happening what's happening spins around the world jeez beans all right all right all right Early 1920s, the renowned Jeez Ben community has hand sewn quilts shown in museum collections around the world. Jeez Ben is purely quilts. These are masterpieces. They are also useful masterpieces. Every last one, whether we like it or not. <laughs> What's so special about these quilts that I love is that we decided to work with House of Harlow deadstock fabric. When legit. You open okay, that's super legit. I'm into it. Pause, pause. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Upcycling, reusing, great. The makers are on camera talking about the thing. That's great, okay, it's great, it's cool. I'm just dubious. I'm just dubious because historically this has not gone well for the people who make the stuff. Okay. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Okay. When I hit space bar, it, it mutes it. All right. House of Harlow has been and where it is now. House of Harlow brought us all this fabulous different material that we've never worked with before. I'm loving the idea of being able to present something totally new, totally different from the normal style of Jews being. I think it's very special when you are gift giving to make the person feel like you see them. And totally aside from anything else. I, j I mean, is it cringe to you or is it just, I don't know, I don't know. I feel gross. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Remember, tell the truth, okay? <laughs> My truth is that, is that it, I just, it just feels gross to me. Okay, all right, let's just, you really want the gift to feel personal. I hope someone would buy the quilt and give it to somebody for a gift, somebody that they love and they know to take care of it. And maybe it could be passed down from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. What's happening now? I have no idea what's happening. That's a... This was on Facebook? <laughs> was the Etsy blog before. Um, okay. So let me, let me pull something up that we looked at recently on the quilt nerd show. Okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because what's happening here is kind of like, like it's completely related to what we were talking about before, you know? And, uh, I am not an expert on anything. Uh, including, this is Women's Wear Daily, they may not like that. Um, I'm not an expert on, on anything. I look at quilts a lot. I think about them a lot. I research them a lot. And I kind of, I have been looking a lot at the, the G's Ben phenomenon and like reading about the Freedom Quilting Bee. And there's this idea that the quilt makers of G's Bend who, you know, their quilts became very, very famous in 2002 when the Whitney Museum of Art had this exhibit right, of their quilts. And it was, it was a phenomenon. It was a blockbuster. Okay. And this is a very long story. It's, it's got lots of parts. Um, there are a lot of people 
who are involved in this story and who continue to be involved in this story. Okay, I'm not an expert, but I've I've done a fair amount of looking at this, you know, phenomenon, right? And 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 there's a piece of it that gets left out a lot, all right? And the piece of it that gets left out a lot is the freedom quilting bee part. And in the 1960s, the Freedom Quilting Bee was this, you know, collective of quilt makers in Alabama, in Boykin, Alabama, who were making quilts and making money for their families. And it was sort of this, you know, sort of workable, working, functional way to bring money into their community. And and then this idea that the G's Ben quilters are just this, you know, you know, they had no idea what they were doing when they were making quilts and they they just sort of got famous, you know, without realizing they were making abstract art. I mean, there's just a lot to unpack with that story and a lot to clear up, um, you know, in terms of whose story it is to tell. Um, you know, again, my my role in the quilt world, you know, like in the quilt ecosystem these days is just to like, I learn stuff, I share it, I try to tell the truth, okay? So, you know, that's that's what I'm doing here, and I have learned over over the years that there's just a lot about the G's Ben story that that folks get wrong. And one of the things I wanted to to say and 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 mention again, right? Well, I mentioned this um, at the Quilt Nerd Show when we talked about this. And remember, this is like an impromptu episode, so usually I have like you know crazy slides ready for you or crazy images ready for you. Um, but one thing that I mentioned that was kind of um, that kind of came up, right, with all of us who are quilt nerds who who check this show out, um, or who make it, you know, in the course of me. Um, Bergdorf, Goodman, uh, Loren, geez, Ben. One of the things that kind of like came up, I'm just gonna pull up an image search here of this latest, this latest endeavor, okay? <laughs> Fresher, newer, uh, more recent than the Nicole Ritchie project. Um, because I think this thing happened in like, well, maybe it happened the same month. I don't know. I don't know. Ralph Lauren's nephew, all right, is, is, has employed quilt makers from G's Bend, is working with some of the quilt makers from G's Bend, um, to make clothes. And there is, you know, the clothes are available at Bergdorf Goodman. I got to get the chat back. Sorry, guys. So... Uh oh, you got you, you froze. Did I freeze? Did I freeze? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We got. Oh. Hey, Chris! Chris! Oh hi, Chris! Okay, sorry. I gotta get. I gotta catch up on the chat. Um, Kay is here. I'm so glad. Myra, hi. Susan. Um, and Chris. Okay, Chris. Viva Waldorf. I'm so glad that you're here. I I don't usually stream on Mondays, but this thing happened with Nicole Ritchie selling quilts from G's Ben and I had to investigate it and I was like well that's what I do on the show quilt nerd I just investigate quilts with everybody else live I show you what I'm learning I show you what I'm discovering and when I discovered that Nicole Ritchie was selling quilts from G's Ben for eight thousand dollars did I mention that that some of them are eight thousand dollars I was like well, either I'm going to save this for tomorrow's show, because every Tuesday we have a show at 11 a.m. Central. Either I'm going to save this and not look at it until tomorrow, or I'm just going to go live right now. So here I am. Um, you sent me an Instagram about this? Oh, I never check those DMs. Okay, now use the Discord, Myra. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, I get, I get, like, I freeze, like, with the social medias, and I just, like, I just... <sighs> I get, yeah, I'm over. So I, thank you, Myra, for catching it. Put it in the newswire on the Discord, and I will I will see it. Um, and E. Turcote says, what a percent of the quilters receive? That's the question. And if they're receiving a great percentage, then all of my, like, <gasps> is, like, totally null and void. And I can accept that if I'm like, what is this? This is an outrage. Like, I want to know more. And if what we find is that, like, Nicole Ritchie is, like, is cool. <laughs> we can hang with Nicole Ritchie. That's fine. That's fantastic. And all of my like <laughs> will be completely deflated. And I would love that because I'm very tense. Um, Carol Hempel. <laughs> Carol Hempel coming in with that dry humor, dry like a desert. She's like, the only thing I ever liked about Nicole Ritchie was Lionel. Um, yeah. 
okay, so Myra, Myra sees it. Myra's OG quilt nerd. So gross and cringy, she says. I instantly message you. Oh, I'm so sorry I missed it. Um, okay, okay. I was frozen. I'm sure I was frozen in some awesome, like, facial expression. Crosley, hey, Crosley. If you're gift giving something you made, it's personal, Crosley says. But that's not what's happening. Yeah, cringe here too a little. Again, we, we're going to find out, but like, wait till I show you more of, more of this stuff. I mean, this stuff. Do you, I mean, have you shopped at Bergdorf Goodman? No? Well, then you're like 99% of the people who are watching this show. Although, I don't know your life. Maybe y'all are shopping at Bergdorf Goodman. That's cool. That's cool. Be great. Be great. I like Bergdorf Goodman in theory. I've never been there. It's one of the fanciest, nicest department stores in the country. In the world, I would say. And so these clothes, okay, I'm going back to the chat, but these clothes that this man, okay, this nephew of Ralph Lauren is selling, it's a, a capsule collection, you know, it's a, a small collection. I don't know if it's still there. I don't know if you can still get it. Is using, you know, either the labor or the branding, whatever, of quilt makers from G's Bend. And the, the language of it, the language of the whole thing, you know, seems to indicate that the quilt makers are getting all, it, it, it seems to, the way they put it is like the quilt makers are getting all of the money from this, but it's not quite what they say. What they say is like resources are being put back into the community or something like that. And like, that could mean a lot of things, you know, there could be a lot of hurdles to jump through, or there could be a lot of, you know, pieces taken out for this or that. And I don't know if it was Myra or maybe it was Padma during the show when we talked about this element of this, somebody was like, you know, this whole like style shoot is, is, has a racist tone or it's a, it's, it's being very racist in that all of the people in the clothes are black, right? So, so it's sort of like the othering thing. And, and, and my, you know, I'm not here to be a social justice warrior. I'm here to try to get to the truth of things. That's all, that's all, okay? And the truth of these pictures, it's plain that in every picture that's for the, for the fashion, you know, editors, you know, I just don't, I don't see people who, who appear to be white people, which, which is what it means is that, that the G's Ben quilts, which have been othered from other American quilts from the start, like it's still kind of putting them like to a different, into a different category, which some people might be okay with that. Some people might not be okay with that. It's up to you to decide how you feel about that, but it is true, right? Okay. That that's what's happening in the pictures. Um, Oh, blobfish. I can talk about the, uh, the quilt, the quilt behind me. Um, yeah, I can totally talk about it. It's, it's a great quilt. Um, hey, Sibby Mac. This is random, super random. Um, G's Bend, each her quote says G's Bend has the name recognition now over Freedom, Freedom Quilters Collective. Yeah, yeah. The Freedom Quilting Bee um, and the Souls Grown Deep Foundation. These are both sort of like structural kind of, you know, I assume nonprofit, I don't know, but you know, the G's Ben quilters is what people, you know, understand those quilts to be, right? The, the actual group that was making money for themselves, bringing money into the community in the 1960s was the Freedom Quilting Bee and the Souls Grown Deep Foundation is what's going on now, I think. And remember, I discover this stuff along with you. I bring the knowledge that I have and then we discover together. So this is not a lecture. <laughs> this is not a demo. It's me being curious with you in real time. Okay, so Susan R. Michael says, quilt makers are the community. Non-quilt makers are outside our community. Interesting, interesting. Interior designers are curators of objects that they can upsell for lots of money because they have selected it for their collection, like Nicole Ritchie. By the way, if you've just, if you've just arrived, if you just arrived, I'm just pausing really quick because some people are like, what even is this? Because not only is this a, a, a show that I did not plan, I'm pretty sure it's the first show that's live streaming to YouTube at the same time, okay? I'm pretty sure, hang on, hang on. I'm pulling this back up, I'm pulling it back up. Hang on, hang on. So Nicole Ritchie has 
started to sell G's Ben quilts. Nicole Richie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. For for eight thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. This is weird. This is new. Check that out. <laughs> That's me. Look at that. Look at that. Live. Quilt Nerd Quickie, Nicole Ritchie and G's Bend, question mark. Eric, I can see my, I see that I'm live when I'm live. This is very strange. All right, so let's take a look at this again. Let me just finish the chat and then we'll, this is a different video. Let's watch a different video about Nicole Ritchie selling quilts for her holiday collection. I'm just, I just don't understand. Anyway, Susan, in her infinite wisdom says, you know, designers or curators, designers of home deck stuff, you know, like Nicole Richie upsell these objects that they curate for lots of money because they have selected it for their collection, right? And the upper retail price tags don't typically trickle down. This is the case. Now you can say like, well, it may be true that like Mr. Loren and Ms. Richie are like awesome and they finally have made an equitable deal with this historic, you know, <laughs> the people in this historic area of America who make quilts, you know, in this particular area and have this little you know, lineage. And, you know, you can say, well, you know, we don't know and we don't know. But Nicole, I mean, and if it's Nicole Richie, if she's awesome, like, why is she in the ads? And why is, I mean, she's the brand, she's the brand, I get it. Like people know her name and people know Ralph Lauren's name, whatever. But anyway, Susan Michael also says most of her quilts are under $2,000. Yeah. Hey, suit M. Sue John, it's good to see you. Padma says, I hope G's Bend is in your future documentary. Oh, it is. Oh, and I'm just gonna go, I mean, that's actually the documentary I wanna make. If Hollywood is listening, please, I need a production studio. I really wanna get started on this, <laughs> on filming because I want to get to talking to people who might not be around forever. Anyway, um, the whole, my plan for the whole show starts in the American South. Like the whole show begins in the American South. That's how it all starts. So yes, I will definitely be talking about, about quilts in the American South and, and the quilts that are made in the Boykin, Alabama, G's Bend area are not the only quilts if you will, that look like that, right? There are all kinds of quilts made by different groups of people, white people, black people, all kinds of people who have this, that have this sort of, you know, they're sort of, sort of in that, uh, they have that look or whatever, that oeuvre that, that look a little bit like that. So, so the story is just really good. It's really good and it's really deep and it's bigger and better than the one we're usually told. And that's all I want to do is just like be like, hey, Let's poke over here. Let's poke over there. Let's talk to that person. Let's talk to this person because quilts are so fantastic. They're so interesting. There's so much more than just pretty blankets. They are history and they are people and they are made by everybody. Black, white, rich, poor, you know, educated, uh, people who have, I said rich and poor, you know, like ev everybody makes quilts from coast to coast around the world. People make quilts. And when you really understand, right? It, when you start to understand, cause I'm only starting to understand that quilts are a pathway to everything you ever wanted to know. World history, philosophy, art, fashion, all this stuff. Quilts provide this framework for you to learn about the whole world. And so, so for me, you know, looking in a little bit deeper to the quilt makers of G's Bend and what it was like when they started uh, making quilts in the 1960s for these different department stores. I learn about the whole wide world when I look at quilts specifically. And so I just want to uncover what the deal is. You know, I want to look, I want to look. And so Padma, I'm going to start the, oh yeah, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I'm not even supposed to be live right now. Okay. And Etercote says, Padma's suggestion is that you interview one or more of the women from G's been about this. Oh, a thousand percent. And, and let's not, let's not, you know, I am, you know, <laughs> I'm me, white lady, right? Talking about how upset I am about all this stuff. And I mean, I, I, that's who I am. That's all, I can't be anybody else. You know, I learn a lot about quilts and I share with you what I know. 
I don't have quilt makers from G's Bend on this show yet. I'm not calling them up and piping them into this show. So I understand, you know, I'm the only one talking here. I completely get that. But I'm outraged and I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Talk about it. Um, yeah, Amy. Oh, Amy. Amy referenced the show we did on Saturday night. Everybody should watch the replay. It was a great show. Agreed, Amy. Thousand percent. Um, is it a gray Monday, Sibby Mac? I'm glad you're here. I just popped in. It's very, it's thrilling. I feel kind of, oof. Um, Myra says, I just feel they, here we are yet again, quilters being used for profit while being othered by these privileged celebrities, you know, white or pseudo white quilt saviors. Completely, completely. I mean, it's weird, you know, it's just kind of weird. Okay, let's watch this video. I want, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just kind of getting ca caught up on the nerd community that I love so much. Um, is in the group quilting picture, are they cutting up their own quilts for the designer or making quilts in that picture? Good question. Wow. I mean, this is crazy. Wow. Oh, he's right. oh my gosh. Well, Myra, I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, I just, I just couldn't believe it. Nicole Richie. Okay. I'm pausing on the chat. Let's watch this. I want people to know it's not just me spouting off. I mean, it's a lot of me spouting off, but it's also you all. Okay. Pause. Nicole, Nicole, spritz yourself spritz yourself and get, you know, get your robe tucked around you and your, your, your on your settee. Y'all, I mean, this is, I mean, I just couldn't believe it when I saw it and I had to, I just went live. Okay, here we go. Ready? This is from Etsy. What is this from? Hang on. It's, she's talking about this collection. All right, let's, let's watch. Yes, I just feel so lucky to be able to work with so many different. She's so lucky. She is lucky. She was born to like a Lionel Richie. Pretty lucky. Talented, diverse artisans. Learning how these things are. Or she was adopted, whatever. Made really. Un That's like extra lucky. <laughs> okay. Oh, look her wine. Understanding the craftsmanship and the workman. <laughs> you see, I have, if you, if you came here and you're like, this is going to be, and I was like, we're going to watch a video. And then you're like, let's just watch the video. Stop talking. That's not what the show's about. <laughs> the show is about, it's about this. Manship that goes into making each piece. It's just been something that's been very. Who wants to bet a thousand dollars that those are not her hands? But you know how they edited that? It really looked like they were, it was, she was blowing the glass or making the soap, whatever. Very special and personally inspiring to me. I really wanted to collaborate with artisans to bring in some jewel tones, play with different fabrics, velvets, really get into the holiday spirit. California is my home. I'm born. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. She has a right to live. She has a right to live. She has a right to be happy. It's cool. You know, if you think about people who are like super rich like that and like super blonde and super thin and super blonde, and like in Beverly Hills, they have a very different life, right? They, I mean, they have they're, they're celebrities, whatever. They get their picture taken when they go outside. Like they're weird. They have a weird life. My life is weird, but it's pretty standard weird, you know. Like I don't know. I, I they have a weird life in that sort of. I, I kind of think like like I've met really rich people before, like really rich people, and it's like their feet kind of don't touch the ground because everyone does things for them. Right. And so she's a person who, who people just do things for her, it seems <laughs> probably. Right. And so she's weird, man. She's weird. So she's like, I wanted to connect with artisans and pick jewel tones. And it's like, she really thinks that. Born and raised here. And I wanted to support the arts within my community. It's important to me. And she's authentic. She's quirky, but she's authentic. She's so real and to House of Harlow as a brand to celebrate diversity. And I wanted to share the stage with people from all different backgrounds. I did not know the story of G's Bend. I actually saw their quilts first. That is what got my attention. Quilts first went, okay, this is, this is, this is weird. They were just so beautiful, intricate, one of a kind, incredible. What's so special about these quilts that I love is that we decided to work with House of Harlow Deadstock fabric. When you open the quilts, you kind of get a little history in where House of Harlow has been and where it is now. 
I would definitely give these throw pillows to my dad because they actually just match his house and I think that they would look good all year round. Oh, Foff. Okay, Foff. Okay. Get that little, uh, get that, do you see that? You see that? All the quilters in the house are like, mm-hmm. I think what that is... they would look. Oh, no, it's, sing oh, wait, it's Singer. Yeah, it's Singer. Of course. Okay, Singer. Good all year round and I feel like he does appreciate a good throw pillow. He... Her dad, everybody. Her dad appreciates a good throw pillow. So if you're looking for a gift for, oh, for Lionel, <laughs> I was like, if you're looking for a gift for Nicole Richie's dad. And then I was like, oh yeah, that's Nic Lionel Richie. I mean, that's legit. I mean, I feel like she can mention her dad and it's cool. I was literally picturing like an old man with like socks pulled up to his knees and maybe, maybe Lionel Richie, he is an old man and maybe he has socks pulled up to his knees. I just forgot that was her dad, okay. Wait. Loves home design. I would definitely be gifting the dog beds to all of my friends with dogs. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm just gonna catch up on the chat. They're not her hands, thank you. <laughs> the background music. Myra's climbing the walls. Um, Sujan, I mean, what does her house look like? Yes. Oh my God. Is it fake snowing? Caitlin, did you just see that it's fake snowing out there? You need a new emoji. Yeah. You know, everybody who's a subscriber to this show for $4.99 a month. And can I just say, if you're new here, you should subscribe because if you subscribe for $4.99 a month, you don't have to watch any ads and you support the work of your, your quilt nerd here who really does work really hard for this show and you get to use all these cool emotes which are like emojis twitch just has to be different it's fine um and we have a, a b emote for members and so when you're really mad you can use the b emoji you can put it the b in chat you know and that means that you're you got a b in your bonnet you know personally i'm feeling the b's right now somebody get some b's in the chat um <clears throat> the quilters mississippi delta okay mm-hmm mm -hmm. Okay, singer heavy duty. Mm-hmm. It is a... <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> you know it's real art when it matches your house. God, I love you people. <laughs> I mean, hey, Robin's Nest, hi. Dog pillows to all her friends with dogs. Oh, yeah, it is a little snarky, a little shade. I know, that's the thing. Yes, thank you, Sue John. There are the bees. Um. Yeah, her, her hands were just pushing some bits around oh nicole richie has a tattoo on each wrist look out for them interesting oh carol i love that so okay there's just there's uh 30 seconds left in this let's just give it a try and you know okay no i'm getting mad on the internet okay in general this is a bad thing to do but i am okay come on nicole let's I've already gifted the dog beds to my dogs as an early Christmas present, and they like them. <laughs> Having things that are handcrafted, handmade, give you that extremely personal touch. That's the feeling that I wanted to bring. That's what I felt like I could contribute. I think it's very special when you are gift giving. That quilt is not attractive. I'm sorry. I don't care who made it. I don't care what kind of, you know, feeling you're trying to impart. Whatever dead stock they're giving people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe you love it. And this is subjective. Okay taste is up to the particular person who you know maybe you're into it and that's fine no no, no. what is this on the wall really really yellow pink black brown and white sorry it just it, it, it they are capitalizing on the name and again if the people who are doing the project feel they are paid fairly and things are okay. I have nothing to say. It's none of my business, right? Yet the, the, the 
capitalizing on the name is like it's a bit like this this is not like really this is dead stock house of harlow fabric from clothes that didn't sell or something i don't know it's just it sucks i'm sorry to make the person it's my opinion feel it's just like my you opinion see them. You does anybody want to comment i mean that's brown that's yellow and green that's black that's zebra striped ish that's mauve that's white or off-white that's a geometric that's a like n natural sort of print that's a floral it's a disaster i'm sorry it's a disaster and that is not like i don't it doesn't matter who made it who does will nicole richie hang that on her wall Ugh, i'm so annoyed yeah, it's <laughs> it's disturbing m su john I have really got to be on you my really own. want the okay okay all right whatever god she's so imperious well I'm a little imperious right now too I can cop to that the gift to feel personal and I think that Etsy is the perfect place for that do you know what she's shaking her head no while she says that I don't know if you've ever watched like TED talks about like how to read people what they really mean when they're saying like no I'm really like like, what is it? Facial expressions. Like if someone's like crossing their arms, like, no, I love it. But they're like, no, I love it. And they're like mouths pointing down. They're like, you are amazing. You're just so amazing. But they're frowning while they're saying it. I think we have an example of this right here. Wait, whoa. Whoa, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What's going on? Where are you? Where are you, Nicole? What's going on here? Okay. All right, calm down. Everybody calm down. Okay, all right, all right. We're just gonna see her say that she, she loves, she's so happy. And she's just like, I am so happy with this collection. I love it so much. It's so good. And she's just like, I hate it, I hate it. To bring, that's what I felt like I could contribute. I think it's very special when you are gift giving to make the person feel like you see them. You really want the gift to feel personal. And I think that Etsy is the perfect place for that. <laughs> it isn't. I wanted to do Bergdorf Goodman, but it's just not on brand for them. I just love the process. I just feel so lucky. To oh, you know, that's fine. We're good on it. Why? I never, I'm never on Facebook. Like, I'm really not, so I have no idea what's playing now. Okay, so the one other thing I wanted to say, and then, I mean, I, you know, I should probably, oh, look, I'm not even in my, I'm not even in my zone for the green screen. Okay, I'll, this this quilt, by the way, behind me is Bertha Stange, 1940-something. See, with Quilt Nerd, always, I start every show with a quilt, you know, wonderful quilt behind me, and we talk about it, and that's how the show starts. And I had to put up a quilt behind me before I went live, but that's not what this one's about. That's not what this show's about. Diobeb, it isn't G's Bend. Damn it, it might be, you know, in name, but it's just, you know, come on now. Anyway, um, yes, they're deer. They're gazelle. They're gazelle. Eat your coat. They're gazelle. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, they're so wonderful. Okay, we can talk about that quilt. So the, the, the thing I wanted to say, and, and this is a little bit risky, right? It's a little bit risky because you can see all of my, this was, at a, I was working on my lecture for the British Guild, of uh, the uh, Quilters Guild of the British Isles tomorrow evening uh, when all of this went down um, and I just had to go live. But um, the last thing I'll say is just to I'll point you, point anybody who's here back to the episode where we talked about this. We talked about the not Ralph Lauren. What's his name? Greg? Greg Lauren? Yeah. Um, we talked about his, his project and, and what kind of arose in that whole discussion is that the reason that we, a lot of us were kind of bothered um, by this Bergdorf Goodman collab between Mr. Lauren and the quilters down in Alabama is that like the reason it was cool the reason it it seems to be cool to Bergdorf for something there's this in, implicit inherent sort of baked in 
high low mix and if you know you know some fashion kind of terms or whatever what i perceive in this whole project and what a lot of the pro like nicole ritchie and her like holiday collection like give to all your like best friends like this like authentic quote from the south i mean like there's just this kind of like they're sort of forcing this um high low mix which is like you know like in London, like if you're like wearing diamond earrings and a beat up vintage leather jacket that's like falling apart, that's what you call like a high low mix. And it's like, you know, I can like wear diamonds, but I can also wear this like, you know, vintage leather jacket from like Leeds or some, you know, working class neighborhood. And it's like, the you know, the people who do that, you know, kind of like, and, and it's, it's not like problematic in and of itself, whatever, but it's, it's kind of like if you have the money to be able to afford the diamond earrings, you know, and you can do the leather jacket thing. I mean, it's just, it's hard to go f from low to high. It's easier to go from like high to low, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's just a little intense to me to have like these clothes available at Bergdorf Goodman. And it's just, dubious as to you know who who's making money on it and look the world is big we're all gonna die <laughs> Every, you know you can't control things and there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on and in a lot of ways in every way really it's none of my damn business and I don't know 99% of what all of this is about including like the Nicole Richie thing I don't know about but I do know what I've read and I do know what I see and I'm annoyed. That's all, that's it. That's all I got, it's very, very, very simple. It's very simple and I had to come on and tell you <clears throat> because what I love to do with you all is, is this, is when I'm curious about something, when I'm learning something about quilts, I don't wanna do it alone. I wanna do it with you. Because you're nerdy too, and you love quilts too, and you know that quilts are so much more than what they appear to be. And what they appear to be is great. They appear to be covers for our bodies, and they appear to be beautiful examples of design or art. Which is it, right? Which do you think it is? It's very interesting. They appear to be simple, but they are very complicated, and they are very fascinating. And when I first started making quilts, all I wanted to do was make them. And over the years, I stopped making them as much and started really looking at them, really looking at them in culture and in literature and in art and all of it. And it's just endless. It's just an endless fascination for me now. And I'm very, very grateful that I have quilts in my life. And so, um, I guess I'm streaming now on YouTube at the same time I'm streaming on Twitch, which is very exciting. If you've just dropped in, I'm going to, I'm going to take off now <laughs> because I'm not usually supposed to be here anyway. Um, but, oh, interesting, Padma. Greg Loren. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, appropriating it. Right, exactly. Yeah, you have to eat your coat. Um, Anyway, so 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 that's that's what happened tonight is that I just got curious and I wanted to be with you while I was. And so if you're catching it on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, um, we we do this. Usually I'm a little bit more. Well, yeah, I have a lot more ready for you. And we do all kinds of fun content uh, three times a week, Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Central. I'm in London. So for me, it's 5 p.m. So I have to do it kind of in the middle of the day. Otherwise. I turn into a pumpkin if it gets too late, like now. It's almost nine o'clock here in London. But Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. and um, Saturdays at 4 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. for me. I take one for the team. I think I've thought about doing a stream at 3 a.m., you know, so it's like 8 p.m. or something for some of you, but oof, I don't think I can do it. But uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, uh, or tomorrow, at 11 a.m. The show will be shorter tomorrow. Usually we run about a couple hours, you know? We hang out for a couple hours, sometimes more than that, to go through all the stuff and talk in the chat and hang out. Um, thank you, Myra. It's my pleasure, you know it. Um, 
but tomorrow tomorrow uh, will be slightly shorter because I'm giving that big lecture to the Quilters Guild of the British Isles. And so that's why that's how we got here. I was I was doing stuff, polishing up my talk, and I found Nicole Ritchie selling quilts from G's Ben on Etsy. Lord, what has the world come to? Some of them are eight thousand dollars. Go explore, my friends. Go enjoy. Quilts are so, they're everywhere. They are not just at quilt shows. They are not just at, you know, your guild meeting. They are in fashion and they are in pop culture and they are in Etsy. And they're in Nicole Ritchie's uh, bank account. So I'll see you tomorrow and uh, be a nerd. Be a nerd. Sit back. You made my day too. Woo! You're all the best. Chris! E. Okay, I'll see you soon and take care and uh, subscribe, become a member. If you have an Amazon Prime account, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get one free Twitch subscription every month. You should use that for the Quilt Nerd Show. Okay, bye everybody. You're all the best. Ah, that was great. I'm so